Welcome back guys, it's Mary. Today I'm going over the fundamentals course of nursing school. So I am talking to all of the new nursing students out there that just started their programs within the last week or so because this is a course that is taught hopefully within the first semester of your nursing school. This class covers all of the basic nursing skills like putting on PPE, hygiene for patients, transferring patients, um, walking with patients, how to walk on crutches, how to drive a wheelchair. These are all things you're going to practice within your lab. You'll also get two cool things like injections and inserting NG tubes and setting up IV tubing. So the class is set up so that you have a four hour long block of lectures once a week. I know it's a long class. And then the next day you're going to have a three hour block of lab time where you practice the skills hands on that you learned the day before in your lecture. And so my suggestion for the lecture is to take notes on the computer because four hours of handwritten notes really makes your hands cramp up. And then on the computer, I suggest pulling up the professor's PowerPoint if they provide one on one side and then your notes on the other side. And this just helps you to pay attention a little better and keep up with the professor. Fundamentals is a really easy course when you look at the curriculum, like it's really simple things that you're learning but there's little things that the professor says that you have to remember for weekly quizzes and tests and these numbers that you need to memorize. And so having that PowerPoint up really helps you to pay attention and focus because it's really easy to zone out during that class. The fundamentals class has a lot of curriculum. As you can see, this is one of our texts. It is 2000 pages, I think. I'm gonna look at it. Yep, it has 1,863 pages in it. That is insane. If this doesn't tell you how crazy nursing school is, I don't know what will. This is the biggest textbook I've ever seen. And so your syllabus will have chapters in here, most likely, that they expect you to read before class. So it'll say, like, read chapters 18 through 22. But these chapters are really long. And there is no way you can do all of the assignments that you are given and read these before class and study for your quizzes on top of that. And so my suggestion is to not overwhelm yourself trying to read this. We were also given an ATI textbook. Now you can imagine which one we ended up reading. This is a smaller version and it summarizes the information that's in here. And the ATI test, if your program is doing that, will go based off this information and this data. So we would read this before class and we would use this to study for our ATI test and that was plenty. We did not have to read this. So you'll probably still have to get it because it's required, but just don't overwhelm yourself with trying to read those four chapters a week for class. The other book we had was for lab. This is the clinical nursing skills one and I actually really like this book. I didn't use it as much as I probably should have, but it's a really good idea to take this into the lab with you during your class or during open lab time when you're going in to practice those skills. They essentially have all of the skills that you're going to learn and there's extra ones that you won't obviously learn in level one, but it just has like checklists and explanations for why we do what we do. And so this book is very handy. It was not required to buy, but I'm really glad I did. So if this is one of your options for nursing school, I would invest in it. Now that we've gone over books, I want to talk a little bit about what was expected of us in that class. So every single week at the beginning of class, the first 10 minutes, we would have a quiz on what we learned the week before. And so my suggestion for that is to go over those PowerPoints that your professor lectured on. Just go over your notes. It should be enough to do well on those quizzes. Every week we also had vocab assignments. So she would have like 50 terms for us to define because they were new terms obviously that we had never heard before so we would have to define them and turn them in. Obviously that took a long time so we would split it up with teammates and we would say hey you do the first 25 words I'll do the second 25 and we would fill it out together because level one was jam-packed with so many busy work assignments that it was just impossible to do all the assignments and study for your tests and so by teaming up with people to get the assignments done you had more time to actually learn the material you were supposed to and do well on your tests, which mattered a lot more than little vocab assignments. Another assignment we had was online practice quizzes. So there were like 10 questions that we had to answer a week and then just submit like a screenshot saying that we had done them. And so I actually really liked those. The only problem was that 
The questions were on things we either hadn't learned yet or we wouldn't be able to see the answers we got wrong, like we wouldn't be able to see what the right answer was. So that assignment wasn't the best, but I do suggest if your program does ACI, I suggest doing practice quizzes on your own there because there's about 400 questions on fundamentals. And if you get through all of those questions before your ATI exams, you're going to be set. So doing a practice quiz with like 50 questions a week leading up to the test is a great idea. So with lab, the assignments that we had due was pretty much just a ticket in every week. So it was a video of what we were going to go over that week in lab. So you would watch a video on like how to change an ostomy bag or how to change a JP drain. And you would watch the video and answer questions on it and then submit it. That way you were just familiarized with what you were going over in class that day. And I thought that assignment was very smart. And then on top of that, we would have things called care plans that we would have to do at our clinical sites. And so that went towards our lab grade. And then instead of weekly quizzes or exams, we had what's called validations. And so we had two or three in a semester and they basically were like midterms on all of the skills that you had learned thus far. So you would sign up for like a half hour time slot. You would show up in your nursing clinical uniforms, your scrubs, your stethoscope, any equipment you would need, your ID badge, your good shoes, and you wouldn't know what skills you had to do until you got there. You would draw out of a hat what skill you would have to show. So like medication administration, vital signs, and like introducing yourself, assessing the environment, putting on PPE. That was all like in the first quarter of the semester and then it got harder. You had to do like catheter insertion and G-tube insertion, um, setting up IV tubing, putting up a piggyback, things like that. And if you don't know what that is right now, you'll learn it later, don't worry. But the validation was something that was really intimidating because you didn't know the situation you were going to get until you got there. And so you had to make sure you were going to open lab and like practicing your skills and doing them exactly to like to code, like exactly to what the textbook would say because any little thing you forgot, like providing privacy or like raising the bed and using proper body mechanics, if you forgot to check an ID band or like allergies before you gave medications, you would fail. And so you would just have to make sure you were practicing beforehand in the lab. And so for those, I suggest grabbing a partner and every week, um, every week assigning a time slot to going into the lab and practicing for that. My biggest tip for fundamentals is to prioritize the things that are more important to your learning and your grades. You're going to be given, at least with my fundamentals class, we were given a lot of busy work assignments that were due every single week and it was hard to keep up with them, but you had to realize, okay, if I only have an hour to do homework before I need to go to bed or before class, I need to do the things that are worth more points and are weighted more towards my grade. So I'm gonna work on my care plan instead of working on this vocab list. And you just had to prioritize. Ideally, you would have enough time to do everything, but definitely just having in your mind what the most important thing is to do is very helpful with fundamentals. Fundamentals, in my mind, is one of the hardest classes you'll take in nursing school. And that's because if you don't have any medical experience, like me, I didn't have any, you go in and the simplest little things are just mind-blowing to you. It's like you've never seen anything like that before. But after level one, you'll feel so much more like a nurse than ever before, and it gets easier after that, I promise. <laughs> it is super exciting to learn all those things, so just remember that you worked hard to get to nursing school, and even though it's super hard right now, I can do this, and I will feel more confident later. <laughs> you might feel really insecure about your skills at clinicals and stuff, but I promise it gets better. I hope this video helped you to see a little bit more of what to expect during fundamentals, and I hope that you will comment down below if you have any questions for me, and I will see you guys next week.